Why would the Republican leadership in the committee majority give a hearing and a platform to the witnesses today, specifically to Mr. Kennedy, a man who has recently claimed that COVID-19 is targeted to attack Caucasians and black people, the people who are most immune are Ashkenazi Jews and Chinese. And before that, in his film, Medical Racism, The New Apartheid, that film stated that COVID-19 vaccines do not work for black children because of their, quote, kick-ass kick kind of immune system, that hyper, superhuman, subhuman kind of language. Also said, he also said, even in Hitler's Germany, you could cross the Alps to Switzerland you could hide in an attic like Anne Frank did to imply Jews in Nazi Germany had more freedoms than unvaccinated Americans during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, many of my Republican colleagues across the dais will rush to cover that they have Mr. Kennedy here because they want to protect his free speech, that they do not believe in American censorship. This is not the kind of free speech that I know of, the free speech that is protected by the Constitution's First Amendment. But free speech is not an absolute. The Supreme Court has stated that. Uh, and others' free speech that is allowed, hateful, abusive rhetoric, does not need to be promoted in the halls of the People's House. This Republican charge of free speech is being used by Republican members to promote quasi-science, things such as the replacement theory that says that brown people are replacing good white Americans here in this country. Let's not remember that this country first belonged to brown Native American people. It's a rallying cry for bigotry and hate. 